Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dara from TechJit here, and this week on App of the Week, I'm going to show you how to get the iPhone OS 4.0 on your iPod or iPod on your iPhone or iPod Touch. And sorry, the VNC is not working today, so we're just going to have to do it old school like this. And I did leave my camera at school, and so uh, anyway, so we'll get right into this. Um, as you can see, to start off, um, just at a bit looking at it, uh, you can see that there's a new background, and um, there is a 3D reflective dock. And if I shake it, I get um, a switcher, um, an application uh, multitasking thing. And these applications are running, and they're not just displaying. Um, I can open up Mail, and then I can open up Safari. And you can see that's pretty cool. So this is iPhone OS 4.0. Uh, if you want to have proof, um, I'll go into settings and show you that you can change. I'll go into about, well, general, and then about. And you can see right here, down here, that it's only on 3.1.2. Um, yes, no, this is not the iPhone 4.0. Um, this video is going to show you how to replicate it. Um, but I uh, just got that name um, because of the new, um, you know, everything. I don't know why, but anyway, so this app, app this app, uh, this app of the week is basically going to show you how to um, make your iPod or iPhone look like it's running 4.0. And you can actually, um, by the way, this is all done with Cydia. You can actually, if you are a iPhone developer six who develop apps for the App Store and sell them, uh, you can download the beta um, version, which I really recommend you do. And you can probably download it legally somewhere else. And I won't tell you that because I don't. Well, I don't know. Um, anyways, uh, this is all done with Cydia. Um, yeah, first thing, two things you got to do first. You've got to add two sources. The first is repo.beyouriphone.com, uh, and the second one is podulus.us. Uh, all these are all right here. Let's see, Ooh, right there. Um, uh, okay, so after that's done, you need to go to search, and the first one we'll do is reflective. Trying to type this on city is really slow keyboard. Reflective dock, all one word. If you do uh, spaces, then it uh, will work. Um, so here you go, here, just tap that one right there. Um, the button up here will say install. You click that, then you do confirm. And it will install it. And then the next thing you do uh, before we exit out of Cydia um, is Pro Switcher. All one word as usual. You do Pro SW, it'll come up. So you got three results here. If you um, hit the first one, you gotta make sure that you did the sources first. Um, if you just hit the first one, install, um, confirm. Um, and that is it. Um, let's see, is there anything else? While you're at it, why don't you get SB settings? Oh, if you want to make it look like an iPad, um, if you want to, so that when you rotate it um, in the home screen, it'll rotate, you want to install SB Rotator. Um, that is pretty cool as well. Okay, so that's everything installed there. And then you want to go into your settings. And then you want to scroll down to the bottom, well, to the middle. Uh, if you go to Pro Switcher, um, there's lots of different options here. Uh, these don't really do anything. Um, I'll show you a better way to do that. Uh, then you go uh, reflective dock. Just set this on. There's a lot of features for um, for a dock thing. And so, anyways, just do that. And and to to work on activating the pro switcher, you go into activator, and this will automatically be installed with it. Um, and you go, so you can just change this at home screen, you can change it to a double press. Um, you can assign it in here if you go down to Pro Switcher. Um, you can also assign different um, key presses to different things or different movements and stuff like that. So that's Activator there. And um, let's see, I'm trying to do this, this is hard. Um, one more thing if you want. Um, Free if you want backgrounds, um, go to I type in Insidia iPhone. The keyboard for Cydia is absolutely terrible. 
iPhone OS, and here it is right here iPhone OS 4.0 theme. Make sure you download it from Podulus, um, the source that you added earlier. So after you've done that, you go down to Winterboard. No. Last page. Last page for me. Select themes. It'll be at the top here and it'll say um, iPhone OS 4.0. I've put it at the bottom um, right here. So just take that off. And then you want to set the user lock, brand, lock, user lock background and the user wallpaper. Uh, you want to tick those. And basically what that does is that'll make it so that your lock background basically so this image is your um is your um what you would call it, your background here. And you can also set that to dim it. Jesus. You can also set that to dim um you can also set that dim the background so it's so the uh, app stand out a bit more. Um and if you I've got this nice little cool thing. If you shake it here, it'll activate Pro Switcher. I'm just going to close down all these apps to keep it um, fast. Um, and also get an app from the free a free app from the App Store, um, where which will um, show you how much memory you're using, and that's helpful um, to show you know if you're using too much um, if you're running too many apps at one time. Okay, so that was iPhone OS 4.0. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Uh, check out the website for um, everything new. Techsheet.com forward slash blog forward slash blog for the latest updates. Uh, I know I've said this in every video I've made, but but I should say it anyways. Uh, we're, we've done a new kind of other blog type thing, which we will mostly be like reviews, kind of longish articles and stuff like that. And basically that's more kind of personal. Well, not personal, but like less more around the tech world rather than tech shit in general. Uh, the other blog on the website will be mainly for um, updates. But anyways, to access this blog, just go to blog.techshit.com. Um, and that is powered by Tumblr, so um, you can do all sorts of things with that, you know, subscribe and different things. So feel, um, feel free to check that out. No, don't feel free to check that out. You are to check it out if you're watching this video. Go check it out right now. Pause this video. Come on, pause it and go go to that website and also go to our website as well and um, it's pretty cool uh, if you're unable to access YouTube uh, if you're at school or work where they blocked YouTube uh, you can watch all of our videos on the website uh, so you should definitely do that um, but anyways thank you for watching this episode of Tech Shit I'm Darrow Carver and I approve of this message that is what Ray William Johnson does and that is not what I do I'm not going to copy him so anyways what I'm going to say is thank you for watching this video and I will see you guys next week Actually, no, I will see you guys in four or five days for the next episode of Tech Shit because Marcus has some big athletics competition coming up and he needs to do loads of practice or something like that. Maybe he'll be here. I have no idea. Uh, I will find out for you tomorrow and I will update that on the blog. So another reason to check out the blog. Thanks for watching this video. I'm Dara of Tech Shit and I will see you guys on Sunday.